So that is a pretty awesome thing, especially at average speed. You're definitely hoping I have been smashed by him in the wing uh, to where he just annihilates my whole team. Like I know every single time I go up against Rumpelstiltskin, I'm praying that he doesn't hit me with Skull because it hurts a lot. Hey, thanks so much for checking out the channel. If you're curious about any other hero in Empires and Puzzles, you can view my website at anchorgame.com. There you will find I have graded every single hero with a calibrated team of graders. This resource will always be free. Thinking about supporting the hero grades in the breakdown videos? You're welcome to donate. Otherwise, feel free to share this resource with a friend. I have my exclusive line group called Anchor Cove, where you gain access to myself and tons of other experienced players with on-demand information and resources. If that piques your interest, all that information is on the opening page of my website with a short video. Let me dive into today's Hero Breakdown. Hey, thanks so much for checking out the channel. Today we're going to be doing a brand new Hero Breakdown on Rumpelstiltskin. Apparently, he plays Yu-Gi-Oh! and he'll probably battle you and take out your green eyes, white dragons, something like that. He's going to kill you. Kill you to death. He's got 733 on his attack, 698 on his defense, and 1359 on his health. Overall, statistically pretty average on everything. No huge outlier there. He does get a bonus for being part of Fables of Grim Forest, which means that he gets anywhere between 3% and 15% attack, or 5% and 20% defense, depending on 2, 3, 4, 5 heroes of Fables of Grim Forest. He runs at average speed. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. It is a free massive turn-based dark fantasy RPG. To try this game out, all you gotta do, go to the video description, click on the special links. You'll receive 50 gems, one energy refill, 100,000 silver, and one free champion, Adjudicator. All your treasure is waiting for you right over here. So he has three different skills that he could produce on his hero special. What he does is he draws a card and he does one of the three at random order. So the first one is Skull. It deals 270 damage to all enemies. All enemies receive 156 damage over three turns. The next one is going to be Cross. 27% health for all allies is recovered. Cure status ailments from all allies. And then the other thing that he could potentially do is Stars, where all enemies get minus 34% defense for three turns, and all allies get plus 48% attack for three turns. He is a sorcerer, so that does help out because if you don't have a hero like Arsenia, you potentially have some sorcerer emblems that are running around. I know that a lot of people are using their sorcerer emblems on four-star heroes, so this might be an opportunity to where you could emblem up a hero. He, against a Titan, he does get a B grade, mostly for the fact that he doesn't really do too much in terms of his attack power at 733. It's a little bit above average, but the issue is, is his hero specials, they're also random. They don't really have anything that you can really expect, and actually all of them aren't really that great against a Titan in general. So I'm not really stoked about him. It is kind of cool if he gives 34% defense for three turns, but... I don't really see it. It does add the attack for three turns. Again, it's it's pretty low. The only thing you're really going to want on a Titan is the star's ability, and those durations are only for three turns, so I'm not really going to be making a huge exception to put him in against Fire Titan. So he does get a B grade there. On offense, he does get another B grade, mostly because all of the skills are so different, and you could potentially be wanting one of the skills at each time now I will say though if the skull goes off it is quite damaging it does hurt a lot and it's a pretty sweet thing but i see the problem is is the randomness of what they all do makes it to where you're really really hoping on one and could be really really disappointed if it doesn't so just for the fact of the randomness that's where he's going to be getting the most dinging to his hero grade not to say that his hero specials aren't great because they are cool they really do help out a lot but the fact that they're so random is what causes it to be such a low score we look at what he does as a tank he does get a b grade mostly again because it's all random you don't know what's going to happen he does have some okay defensive stats um but i'm not really too sold on him being as a tank you could potentially want to have it to where stars goes off gives minus defense and all allies getting 48 percent attack so that could help out but I would just consider you should probably just use a hero like Santa instead if that's really what you're going for. So as a flank, he does also get another B grade there. Again, the randomness, 
but I do actually like seeing him in the wing. Reason being is that his effect is pretty sweet going off in the wing. It is at average speed. What I will note is that anything that he does attacks or hits all enemies or cures or heals all your allies. So that is a pretty awesome thing, especially at average speed. You're definitely hoping I have been smashed by him in the wing. Uh, to where he just annihilates my whole team like I know every single time I go up against Rumpelstiltskin I'm praying that he doesn't hit me with skull because it hurts a lot I can recover from the other stuff that does help out but skull has just annihilated my whole team before so I'm not The whole reason why he doesn't get a better grade is because of so much randomness So overall on defense he does get a B plus grade when we look at his weekly raid grade, he does get an A grade on rush attack, mostly because you don't really care which one of those abilities goes off at fat, very fast speed. They're all gonna be super amazing and it's gonna super help you out. I do love him on rush attack, super awesome hero there. So he does get an A grade there. He does get a B plus on buff, mostly because you're not really sure too much what's gonna go on and what's gonna help. Obviously stars is gonna be really awesome when you're considering what he does on buff attack, making it so the defense and the attack power is up. At average speed, impacting all your heroes, that's gonna be really cool. But the other ones aren't too, too relevant. Still overall, you could definitely see him being used on buff. Now, when we get into bloody, unfortunately, he does get a C grade there, mostly because if his cross goes off, you literally just do nothing. You've got a 33% chance that you're negating everything out there. But you could maybe swing him in on bloody and you're crossing your fingers hoping skull goes off. So there that is, that ability. So what I will say is I reserve this hero for hero people who love having randomness or potentially uh, high risk, high reward scenarios. So I know some people might disagree with this grade. And those are probably the people that love taking risks and rolling the dice and love high rewards on high risk type things. So this hero might be really awesome for you. But overall, as a grade, he does get a B grade, mostly because of the randomness. So if you do like this content, please make sure you go ahead, subscribe to the channel, also turn notifications on, because these are coming out daily. And also, if you could actually go ahead, leave a comment below, let me, hear, let me know which hero you want to have me do next. So thanks so much, I'll see you tomorrow on the next one.